Hello everybody, I'm George from Beaumont Guitars. And I'm Scott. And today we're gonna be taking a look at the Schecter C4 Apocalypse Bass. Scott, what do we have going on here? I know we have some pickups made in Cali. We have some awesome things going on. What is happening here? Well, the finish is rusty gray. It feels like it's an oil satin finish. It feels really good. It's made out of swamp ash on the back. For the neck, it's maple neck with paddock stringers down the, down the uh, neck. It's reinforced with carbon fiber truss rods, has stainless steel jumbo frets, ebony fingerboard, um, satin black hardware with o-ring hip shot knobs, and it has two toggle switches for the way that the pickups are wired. It actually sounds really cool. You get a lot of nice sounds out of this thing. So what is uh, what it changes like series parallel and uh, yes on the top it changes it to parallel in the middle it is series and on the bottom it is split so it splits the two pieces into two different pickups nice and I believe this is a black tusk uh, nut which pretty awesome uh, let's uh, let's hear what this bad boy sounds like all right. <laughs> Very, very nice. Uh, you know, those pickups are made here in the U.S., so pretty cool because on a lot of these instruments, you know, you see imported stuff or design stuff, and this is pretty cool, you know? Another thing I really like about it is just the different voicings that you can get from the pickups. Like, what you see with a lot of basses is that the tone control does a lot, but you don't really get that really deep, like, changes in the tones. Like, so... If you're playing finger style, like sometimes I'll do, it's very difficult to have a lot of definition with it. So if you take like higher on the fingerboard, it's kind of difficult to get like a high or a low. You kind of get, if we could get a little bit of an example. A little flat when it's in the split section. But if we get it into the parallel, into the series section, it really livens up the sound. So like, That sounds pretty awesome. Uh, a little bit about what uh, we're listening to. So that is plugged into the Subway D800. Beautiful amplifier. Beautiful. Sounds amplifier. really, really good. It sounds really good. We pretty much have everything at 12 o'clock. I mean, the bass is a little bit backed off. And I think, you know, Scott added a little extra low mid in there. The low mids really adds to just the clarity of the bass, especially when you're recording on such wonderful equipment. <laughs> oh yeah, let's hear another uh, pickup example. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, for the high pickup, I tend to go more toward like that rock sound where you get more of like a Green Day type of tone out of it. So some Holiday. <laughs> something like long view where it's well definitely gives you a, a large tonal palette to choose from uh, and the, it looks simple too I want to say that like I've seen bases where there's like eight knobs i'm like what the heck does this do and i'm usually calling you like all right there's two knobs stacked what does this do it's very intuitive and it has a nice simple classic design it's really good for like your metal player your punk player even if you wanted to get into rock or country and the controls do exactly what you'd think they do this is obviously a volume this is obviously a tone it 
it just works really well and you don't really have to think about it too much. And it also feels really good. This finish, it, it really allows your thumb to glide up and down the neck. You don't really have to worry about it sticking or anything like that. Yeah, lots of gliding happening. Uh, <laughs> so let's, uh, let's hear a couple more tones and then we'll, uh, we'll wrap this baby up. Sure. Let me get uh, one of my favorites, actually. <laughs> Um, this was, uh, this was awesome. This is our first ever bass demo. I might have to take this home. I don't know how many more you're going to do. I'm going to keep stealing your stuff. <laughs> it's really nice, right? It's really nice. I really like this bass and it's definitely different than what I'm used to. It's really good. I like it. We would like to thank everybody for watching. Please comment below, like, Share. Check mark. Subscribe. Tell your friends, your aunt, your cousin, your sister, the next door neighbor, you know, everybody. And leave suggestions. If you want to see different bass amp, different bass guitar, uh, whatever, my head is shiny, whatever you want to say, please leave a comment below. Oh, please, oh, please. And tell people, if, tell them if they like me. If you like me, if you want me to stay here, let me know. If you want more Scott, you know. Hashtag more Scott in the comments. Uh, Scott, play us out of this one, man. Damn it. Oh, yes. I don't want to hear any bass player say we ever forgot about you because it's going down. Thank you for watching again. Tip your bartenders, all that other shit. And, uh, yeah. God bless you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, you guys are funny. Dude, this is definitely, I feel like the train is going. The train is moving. <laughs> Scott did a good job. He did. I told him to speak up and you just yelled at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even realize. I, I didn't realize. I, <laughs> and you, what is with you and the black tusk nuts? Every time <laughs> <laughs> That's all I remember. <laughs> You think having a black tongue no, Yeah! Makes a Dude, yeah, it does! Holy Nobody crap. gives a shit about that. It's no. self lubricating. Oh my gosh. It Shut lubricates. Up. Nobody cares about that. Hold and you're like, this is, that doesn't come on any <laughs> This is an upgrade. I mean, give me a break. No, no, you're good, you're good. Hey, I just try to make it sound like Holy it's, it's shit. nicer, alright, man?